And we're alive, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Times two. Okay, so. <laughs> hey, guys. How is everybody doing today? I'm Shyla. I'm Margie. Thanks for joining us today. We've got Emery and Sammy. Yes. What's up, guys? <laughs> In the back helping us. And a really awesome sale going Yay. on. One of Margie and I's favorite products is available for free. We'll tell you all the deets in just a few. We are so, I mean, this is one of the first, like, specialty vinyls when I realized there's stuff regular out rather than just plain. And yes. I was like, oh, my God. Same. I think uh, Pearl was, like, the first electric that I ever tried. And mm -hmm. I was like, what? This is crazy. It's so amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. So, uh, good morning to you all. The Margie and Shala mystery box has been flying off the shelves. Y'all, there's just, like, a little bit left. Like... Not many. There's yet. not many. Like... Yeah. Almost to single digits. And it also was featured on the email this morning that went out, so it's probably not going to last through the rest of the day. So, if you want to get the Margie and Shala mystery box and you're just now hearing about it, get it before it's gone, because it's about to be out of no. here. Some of the girls that are, like, picking and checking, they're like, I think this is my favorite one. Oh, it's so cool. pretty. Like, they really, really love it. I love so. how, like, every time we get that kind of feedback, it's like, this is my favorite. No, this is my no, favorite. This one. No, this I one. Know. It's like, everybody <laughs> just loves it. They so, just keep getting better. Yes. So, real quick, I feel like we've been getting some comments and questions and um, just, I guess, posts that the website's kind of scarce right now. Yes. And so, y'all, usually, and we've talked about this Monday or mm -hmm. Tuesday whenever we went live. Before, was it just is today, Wednesday? Yeah. Thursday. Today's Thursday. No. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday. I'm so <laughs> off on my day. I'm like, what yeah. is it? I've been working so much, I don't know what day of the week it yeah. is. But um, we are just out of stock of some of our StarCraft um, permanent vinyls. Yes. A lot of the mattes, which is funny because used to be the glossy would outsell the matte. And I think so people are just starting to get excited about it. They're realizing how amazing the matte yeah. is. But we're just out of stock. We have shipments coming. They mm -hmm. were just a little delayed because of the holidays. So hopefully yes. the website will be restocked again. We're hoping by tomorrow. Yeah. And we are just working our hardest and fastest to get the orders out to you. We're taking really short lunch breaks. and Really working, short lunch breaks. <laughs> really short. Working extra hours. And we're all just hustling yeah. to get these orders out as fast as we can. And we appreciate y'all being patient with us. Yes, that is a great way to put it, Margie. Yeah. Gabby asked, do you have color changing cups? Ooh, we do. We do. There's so yes. many. There is so <laughs> many. There's four different styles. You guys can find them under blanks and then tumblers and then color changing cups. Um, and they're $9.99 for a five pack. It's a great uh, deal. So it's a really good deal. Um, so 25% off overstock. Overstock is y'all have really used up overstock, which is great because that was the whole purpose. So we don't know how long it will be up because we yeah. really, like, when you look at our shelves of yeah. our inventory, it's getting really low. So. so this is just your fair warning that overstock may disappear soon. Um, and so whatever's in there, get your hands on it because it could be discontinued very soon. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. So, I think let's talk about the sale. Who's oh, yes. ready? Y'all ready to hear what's on sale? And it's not even a sale. It's a more of a freebie, right? Yeah, it's just a freebie. It's a freebie that y'all get. Yeah, so every $35 that you spend up to three times, you're going to get a free Caesar Electric HTV sheet in eight different colors. Margie, let's tell them about the colors. All right, so... We're going to tell you, you need to drop down your menu and oh, yes. select your color. Otherwise, you get to choose. Otherwise, it'll just be the first color that's kind of that's listed. And it's gold lens. And it's gold lens. <laughs> so gold lens, which is really cool. We yes. use this on some products, the gold and silver, and it just has a lot of really cool dimension to it. I think our favorite project that we ever did with this, which it really wasn't us, but do you remember the turkey? Like yeah. the, the mandala turkey uh -huh. that was done in gold lens. Yes. Like it's so cute. It's it's really cool. Um, and so Gold Lens just has a really cool effect to it. And guys, Caesar Electric is a HTV that has just a pop or an extra like wow metallic, of sheen, metallic. A metallic sheen. So they shine yeah. a little bit more and they yeah. just add a really cool thing. They're great for men or women. Yeah. You know, men. most men don't want glitter on their clothes, but they're good with like the electric. And then we have Spearmint. Teal. Teal. I love 
teal love. is so pretty. Yeah, teal is one of the most popular colors, and it is available for free. So I'm just going to say, if you get the Margie Shila mystery box, you get to choose two of these electrics yes. with your thing. Yeah. And then this is the pink. Oh, this one's so pretty. This one's so pretty. They're I all so pretty. All the electric pink. And then lime. Lime. Yeah. <laughs> You're it's like hard to see. To and now I'm like, it's pink. So, so these are great. the eight colors, once again, guys, that you guys get to choose from when you spend $35 or more. Okay, great. Great. Yeah. Great. And then blueberry. That's for the yeah. blueberry. Okay. Maya said, I love that shirt, Margie. <laughs> Thanks. You guys love Jane Austen. She's like my favorite <laughs> classic. You get a Austen. compliment on that shirt every I time I know. Anywhere. Obstinate, headstrong girl. I love that you can find Jane Austen's signature. Like, this was just one. I just found her signature and I put it on the shirt. So, um, did I say that's orange? Yep. And then frosted blueberry is the last color. Sorry, Emery. <laughs> <laughs> frosted blueberry. Frosted guys. blueberry. So, make sure when you're placing your order that you. The best thing to do is put everything in your cart that you're getting first, and then at the bottom, like, should we show them how yeah. to add? Like, let's go to the website and just show them how to add. Yes. So just add our mystery box, so because okay. that'll get them to get two. It's right, yeah, right there. I'm trying to refresh the thing. Okay. It was on the old one. Oh. So right here, you guys, you can always click on this, and it's going to take you to that free product. Um, but if you scroll down, the Margie Shala mystery box is right here. So we're just going to add it to our cart. And we're going to show you guys that you can add products for a special price. So when you click on this, it's going to take you to that free electric sheet product. And it's going to tell you that the special price is $0. When you click choose options, it's going to bring you to the page where you can select the color that you want. So we're going to add, did you, so you can add, so if you got two, you can add two different colors. Yes, so we're just going to continue shopping. And I will tell you that if you only qualify for two, but you add three, you will be charged for the third. Yes. The title, it'll say on it, it'll say, like on your receipt, it'll say free, 15 by 12, blah, 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 but then it will mm -hmm. also have a price next to it. Yes, that is correct. So make sure you add the right amount. So you get 35, 70, and 105 are the quantities you need to spend. Yes, and three per transaction. So if you wanted to claim more than that, you would need to place a separate order. Uh, Crystal asks on TikTok, said, I'm new to vinyl. Is your vinyl Oracle 651 or is that totally different? So um, the vinyl we're talking about today is our heat transfer vinyl. It's a Caesar vinyl, but if you're wanting adhesive mm -hmm. vinyl, we still sell StarCraft HD and Avery HP 750. Yes, both awesome products. The Avery is comparable to the Oracle brand, mm -hmm. um, but we do not supply Oracle any longer. That was a big ordeal way back when COVID yeah. started. Um, and so, yes, so we've moved on to bigger and better things. Yeah, so we really love the options of Avery and StarCraft HD. We feel like they give you a lot more choices than the Oracle, and we like how they work better. Yeah, and I feel like the, a lot of the Oracle colors were out dated and mm -hmm. Avery is really on point modern. with what is trending and modern. Yes. Um, just some of those really awesome muted tones that are so in right now. Mm -hmm. So um, just go check out Avery. I think that you'd be happy with it in comparison to the old brand. Yeah. So we are going to be using electric today yes. because Margie and I really love electric and because it's free we wanted to show y'all how beautiful it really is. Yeah. So and then oh before we do though we some people oh, have asked yeah. We finally got more silhou um, silhouette, mats. silhouette mats in stock. So we have 12 by 12 and 12 by 24 mats. Yes. So if you've been looking for them or needing a new mat, grab them now. They just randomly showed up. Like one day I was checking our stock shelf. I'm like, oh, we have silhouette mats. And no one told me. So I put them in stock. On that my happens website. a lot here. Like a lot of times we'll get shipments and mm -hmm. it's stuff that customers have been asking for forever. And then we just don't never yeah. know. And we just randomly find them. But like, oh, we have them. We have it. Okay. So let's put this. Can you put this one over there? Yeah. By shirt? We're not using the 24 inch right now because the design, even though the, um, the electric is a 12 by 15 inch piece, y'all. We only are cutting up like less than 12 inches yes, of it. Yeah. So we're not using the whole design. Yes. Okay. And mine has a bug in it. 
Yes, let's show them overhead that. So this is a fun fact, you guys. I haven't said that in quite a while. Fun fact. Fun fact. Sometimes we receive our vinyl and it has bugs inside of the carrier sheet. Yeah, Ooh, now they can. I it's know. so gross. It's right there. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. Now go up. There you go. Now you guys can see it. Oh, look at that. So gross. <laughs> anyway, it's just funny, but we're not going to be cutting that part of the HTV. So um, if you ever get a bug in your HTV, I mean, we try to watch for them. It, yeah, know. we do have quality checks here. So like if, if it's supposed to not get sent to you. But, but sometimes if there's a big stack, they're yeah. not going to see it. Yeah. So we're going to cut black first. So we are using tungsten, rose gold, and then I am using... Um, Pearl and Shyla is using opal, white opal. White yes. opal. It's so so we just wanted to do, you know, we like to do two different shirts. I'm doing a silver shirt, and Bella and Shyla's doing a white gilded shirt. Yes, this is this shirt design just gave me gilded vibes, which I do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I just need a gilded shirt for yeah. this. Okay, so blade of two, force of eight, guys, for any type of HTV is what we use here. So, and this SVG is available. It is available for a small fee of 50 cents. It's one that Emery spent a long time creating by hand. Let's show so, it to him. Emery screen share. Anyway, it's Look how pretty super it is. cool. Do we want to make it a little bigger or do you want to? Yeah, I think we I will think make, we it, a make it a little bit bigger. bigger. So we're just going to make ours as big as we can, and then we're going to mirror it, guys, because this is HTV. So we're just going to select our whole design, and we're going to click and say flip horizontally. And then in the send window, there is a fill, a cut by. So normally it's just going to default to this, and if you guys hit the fill tab, it's going to let you cut by color, which is really nice. Which, on a design like this, it's amazing that you mm -hmm. can do that because then you don't have to manipulate and move things. Everything's yes. going to be in the same spot, mm -hmm. and you can just send it and cut it. Yes. Uh, something that I want to point out about this particular design, as you guys can see, it's just cutting out a solid black circle. It's not going to cut out the black that's in here because the colors that we're putting on top of it is what's going to make up that black, the black cutout. Oh, okay. So this is a little bit different than what we're used to doing. A lot of times Margie and I do the knockout method, but this one's literally going to be a layer and then see the thing come that's to gonna life. That's going to be really cool. Which is really fun. It's going to be really fun to press on. So that's why we're using matte black. It has, since it's going to be the bottom layer, we wanted a vinyl that was a little more durable for layering. We love soft flex, but sometimes when you go and do lots of layers, especially layering the electric that you have to press at a higher temperature, it wouldn't hold up well. Yeah, it, get, it, it burns up quite easily, and so we just wanted to make sure that we had a really good um, bond yeah. and product to go underneath the screen. Coda asked, do y'all sell gift cards? We do. They are on, if you go to the home page of the website and scroll all the way to the bottom under more, there's a gift certificate button. <laughs> Oh There's gosh. nothing like a new Mac. Huh? I know. And just so y'all know, when you order a matte product, it's going to have a white sticker on it on the carrier side. You do not need to remove this white sticker. It will not affect how your vinyl presses or anything. Right. Rebecca asks, can you get the 15 by 15 mats? Um, I'm guessing you mean for the Pro. For the Silhouette Pro, Rebecca. We should play with it. You know what? We will look into yeah. it. I'll talk to our ordering person because, like, we always have stuff on order from Silhouette. Like, we'll put big orders in, and then we just randomly get things. So, yeah. we've had, like, the autoblades on order for a long time, and they never send them to us. So, I'll ask for some bigger mats, and then also, um, we need some new blades. Yes. I think that that's just important now mm -hmm. that there's a different size machine yeah, on. Maybe for we should sure. accommodate those people who for are sure. on this machine. So next, Shyla is cu cutting the tungsten, and this is the electric. Do you do the same cut settings for uh, electric? Yes, I do. Sometimes, depending on the blade wear and tear, I'll go up one or mm -hmm. two because it is a little bit thicker. So we're just going to bump it up to nine. We were on eight a minute ago. All right. So she's just going to select the dark gray color, mm -hmm. and then you'll see. I'm just going to cut that. Is that right? Yeah, it should be right. Okay. <laughs> It's just hard. It's like it's doesn't hard to ever, tell. I yeah. know when you don't have cut lines a yeah. certain color. If you want to hand me a weeding tool, I'll weed. Sarah asks, "Do you know when you guys will have some hot cups?" Hot, hot cups. cups. Oh, like 
like the, that they changed color for hot. I don't know, is that something that we are looking into? Uh, I do not know at this time. <laughs> we don't know, Sarah. I don't know if that's something that we have. I'm thinking I can just flip this around and try Yeah, first. just do that. Yeah, save the sheet. And then we don't have to cut the buggy piece. Yeah. Leslie said the 15 by 15 is for the plus. Okay, yes. yeah, we will look into getting some of those. We'll see what Silhouette says. Heather asked, does Caesar uh, Electric work okay with Easy Press? Yes. Yeah. You'll want to up your temperature. <laughs> You'll want to up your temperature to 335, yes. though, for your press. You don't want to press it at 305. That won't be enough. That's something that we haven't talked about in a while. No, we haven't. So, um, Something to keep in mind, Cricut Easy Press users, is that your temperature is off by. Are there scissors? Uh, we need scissors. I think they're on my desk. Mm -hmm. um, your temperature is off by what is it? Thirty degrees. About thirty degrees. Yeah. So we always recommend, and our website will tell you that for our settings to up it by thirty um, degrees. It's okay. Mia asked, hi, do you girls know if sublimation is the only good way to do mugs? Uh, sublimation is a great way to do mugs. I'm actually going to adventure into that very, very you soon. Are. Yes. So, um, sublimation is a great way to do mugs, but you just need to make sure that you're buying sublimatable blanks. So, we d that's not something that we carry here, um, but it is something that you can find on other, um, you know, websites, and it's, it, it is a certain type of coating. You have to have a special mug. You can't yes. just go buy a mug from the dollar store. Yeah. Um, <laughs> some people I know. They can I've be quite seen. expensive. They'll do HTV and they'll bake it in the oven. Mm -hmm. I have not ever done that before um, for their mugs. Do you think I can get away with flipping it? I, think yeah. I, do. I don't know. It looks, don't know. It looks, it looks real really close. Not. I probably don't want to risk it. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. All right, let me have your sheet. Other oh, one. Right here. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. You got pieces so everywhere. Much stuff everywhere. So hopefully that answers your question, kind of. I don't know. Um, I know one of the girls here, Leslie, um, she's done sublimatable mugs. She bought a case of them and has sublimated on them for us here. And it's yeah, really, it's it's really cool. Yeah, it smells bad, but. Oh, yeah. She brought her heat press up here one day to do it. And, yeah. and that mug gets hot. If you're on a cup press, it smells really bad. But you guys can also do it in the new, uh, what are those ovens, those countertop ovens? Oh. No. no, that's what Ronnie said. I was literally the air fryer. No, it's not an air fryer. It's the the convection. Yeah, it's like an oven that sits on your. Oh my gosh. Toaster oven. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, a toaster oven. <laughs> Shyla, you're so funny. Literally the other night, I was trying to get this word out to my uh -huh. husband too, and I, why do they call it a toaster oven? I don't know. Toaster makes no sense. I just call and bluff on that. So I could not think of it the other day either. He said exactly what you did. He goes, easy bake oven? And I'm like, no. <laughs> you and Ronnie are like I know. It's so weird. But anyways, yes. Yeah, so you can get a toaster oven and you can actually bake the sublimation mugs what? in those. That's crazy. Yeah, and you don't, uh, the smell is not near as bad. All right, y'all. This electric rose gold oh, is so pretty. I'm so excited. It's so cute. Gorgeous. Sarah said, have y'all heard of a cooling block for a heat press? We have heard of a cooling we block. We have heard, we've never used but one. we've never <laughs> used one. So. How do they work? You know? It's just something that you rub, I guess, on your thing in between layers or things to help it cool. Or you know how some things are cold peel, mm -hmm. so you want them to cool faster. I always just pull it off and fan my shirt if I want it to cool faster, so. I don't know how much faster a cooling block would cool. Yeah. We don't really understand it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to say it. I'm using a medium today, guys. I normally go with small, but I'm wanting this one to be a little bit bigger and roomy. This is just, this gives me like a lounge. Lounge wear. Yes. Get some cute jerseys. 
joggers to wear yeah. with it. Exactly. A562M said, I received my order and I'm in love. Thank you for keeping the prices great. Yay, uh, thank we love you. that. Thank you for the good review. If you don't mind, go give us a review on Google and Facebook. Yeah. We love good reviews on there. Rosie's Creative Ideas said, we placed an order. Good. Thanks, Rosie. Y'all are going to love getting free electric. I'm telling you, when you, you when y'all see this shirt, you're going to die. It's so cute. It's awesome. There's so many, <laughs> so many pieces. But I love how it is, how it's like designed that yeah. it's, it makes it a little bit easier for the cutting and the weeding to yeah. do the black for the first layer. Yes. Sarah and said, uh -huh. Sarah said you can bake them in your regular oven too. And there have been people to heat press the sublimation cups if they have an attachment for it. Yes. About putting something that's chemically compounded into the oven that I bake my food yeah. in, so that's why I did not suggest that. But there is some people doing that. Yeah, that's just not my you just don't preference. know if those sublimation fumes could stay trapped in your oven, so it's something that you would want to look into. Definitely a personal thing for me. I'm just weird like that. I think about she weird is stuff weird. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a weirdo. Do what? Yeah, my favorite color is yellow. I mean, yellow. Geez. That tells you what's wrong with no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, like a... That would have been cool. would have been different. What is she? She's got lots of yellow shirts. I really do have lots of yellow shirts. No, no. I've got... I've got probably one for every silver. We just got a quite a few new viewers. Want to let them know what we're doing? Yes! Hey, guys. We are just making a shirt using Easy Weed Electric. Right now, for every $35 you spend with us, you can choose a free electric color to your order up to three. So if you spend $105, you can get free three free electric. It's like a tongue twister. It is. Three free three electric, free electric um, items. So uh, we are just doing a cool mountain design with it. Yes. We are almost done cutting. Charlotte's cutting the last piece now. This um, this SVG is available for 50 cents. It is on our website. It is the first SVG on the SVG page. You guys can find that under tools and then the SVG spot and there you will see it. It's called Wonderlust. So if you wanted to just start type in the search bar Wonderlust, you'll find it that way as well. And there's been some confusion with SVGs, y'all. When you get them, you will get a link to download the SVGs. You click that link. It's a hyperlink in your email, and it will take you to a page, and you can download it. You need to do it within 48 hours because the link expires. Yes, the link will expire. Corbin said, hi, ladies. Hello, Corbin. We miss you. Look how satisfying this is. Oh, go, go overhead. Go overhead. Ooh, it's so pearly and pretty. I know. Oh my gosh. Can I see? Ugh, it's hard to do it. I just want y'all to see how satisfying that is. Woo! With the different the All lines. the lines. So cool. So Easy Weed Electric is just as easy to work with as the regular Caesar Easy Weed. If you've pretty. never worked with it, you'll fall in love and you'll need every color that's offered. Um, how many colors are there? Um, I want to say there's like three, four. There's like, I think like 30. 30 yeah, there's a lot. There's about 30. You can start pressing yep, So here's all my pieces. Once again, we are going to start with the black blob. <laughs> Perla Diaz asks, what machine are you using? We are using a Silhouette Cameo 4. It is, um, it is louder. I know when people get the new Cameos, they're like, it's so much louder. But, but it's because it has so much force, yes. more power than the um, older Cameos had. So, it's not dying or anything. It's just loud. It's not dying. <laughs> 
So Shyla is going to pre-press her shirt. Yes, so Caesar Easy Weed Electric presses at 305 degrees. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but it's 305 degrees, and you're going to press for 10 to 15 seconds. But you guys, it's super important to remember when you're pressing multiple layers that you literally just tack it down for one to two seconds each layer so that you don't overheat it. And I'm going to pre-press my shirt because we want to get all the wrinkles out. And I'm just going to say, if you're using an easy press, I know that's harder to do, especially if you have an older one. Yes. But you'll just want to go one, two, three, and just kind of go in a grid, you know, to make sure you're getting um, even pressure and even coverage over everything. Yes, exactly. Mechanics Girl 19 asks, do you have any tips slash advice for newbies doing this? Yeah, just get in there and try. Like, download some of our free SVGs that you like and um, just give it a shot. You'll love it. Like, don't be scared. If you mess up, guys, you mess up. We all mess up. Me and Shyla mess up on the air all the time, you know, and you just make it work. So, um, adhesive vinyl is a little bit cheaper. So, if you want to try with that first, just to get used to cutting and your machine, then for sure do that. But, the HTV, if you're wanting to make shirts, you really just need to practice with the HTV. So yes. um, I'm using a heat resistant sheet, you guys, to um, cover up my design so I don't overheat the vinyl as well. It's just a layer of protection. Um, and once again, guys, this is going to be a two second tap down per um, layer. So one, two. And then you'll see that the carrier sheet is a hot or a cold peel. It doesn't matter. So once you remove that carrier sheet, it's going to be on there, but it's not secure yet. So we're going to continue to press our multiple layers. Let me decide which one. Probably, um, I might do the, it doesn't matter, but I'm guessing to probably to get the shape, the white. I think the white. Yeah, I think the white's going to be. Yeah. There is a very good question on TikTok right now. Okay. Ob. Elizabeth Seven asks, "Can you put all the layers together and then press them all at once?" That is a great question, and you cannot on this design because wherever there's a carrier sheet, like if I were to put this on here and press, like this has to go first, like this. But then if I were to press this first on top, it would press to the carrier sheet and not the vinyl. So I know the other day, Shyla and I, the shirt we made, or the bag, was it, did we make a bag? We did a bag. The love sack. The love sack. So in the middle of it, it was a blank space so we could cut the words out of the love sack and put that inside because it didn't overlap anything. So some of these pieces, like after we get the white, we might be able to press. No, we can't press the black and the pink at the same time. I don't know. I might need to pull this over here. I might roll it better. Okay. A little tricky. It is a little tricky. Okay, so we're gonna bring this overhead for you guys. I feel like this is important stuff. Yeah. So um, this is my black circle, and we still have the gray, the white, and the rose gold to press on. And it didn't really look like the white was lining up right, so that's why I want you guys to look okay. at it. So when I get the moon thing up there, oh, because this is reversed. This design's mirrored over here. Okay, so when I get this up there, this hangs off. It's kind of weird. I wonder if we need it. So, and then if I put this where it needs, would it, where it looks like it needs to go. Sarah asks, does buying the SVG give commercial rights? I've missed the answer, lol. Yes. Do we allow them to, we allow them to use it? Like, see, yeah, it's, it's like, a little off. It is a little off. Maybe we should I just wonder, separate it. Maybe, uh, yeah. I'll just cut it. I was going to say, and I think the circle, they're right there. The circle, this circle could have been a little proprietary. You yeah, know? maybe not exactly yeah, the same yeah. on both things. So this is just. Yep, I think that's about right. Yeah, that looks good. Because there's a little lip. That looks good. Okay. All right. So we're going to press the, this is, once again, guys, this is the electric white opal. 
Um, it's kind of hard to see what it does on the camera, but it's it is. really, really pretty. Once she gets it pressed on, you'll be amazed. Don't forget your heat resistant sheet. E.M. Glizzy 23 asks, any tips on cutting exactly 12 by 12 when you buy a roll? Um, yes. What I do is I have a paper trimmer that I have from my scrapbooking days, and you can buy them anywhere. And you just cut, I cut a 12 by 12 sheet off of my roll. I love to buy the five foot rolls because I feel like they're a great value in both Easy Weed, Starcraft Soft Flex, and Adhesive. Um, you get... It's a little bit of savings, so you just measure. I just measure out a 12-inch sheet and cut it up and then roll the rest of my roll back. I feel like the rolls are a little bit easier to store as well. Yes. Great tip. So hopefully that helps. So you can just, you know, we don't have any paper trimmers here, but you can look online and find one that will cut like up to 12 inches, or you might want, if you buy the 15-inch vinyl, you might want one that cuts up to 15. What's wrong with it's so <laughs> okay, so like this should fit uh -huh. in here, but it doesn't. Well, I wonder if it's because this is up a little. So weird. Try uh, turning it down. It almost looks like it should have went like this. Are you trying to get it to Yeah, you? well, I'm just like trying to help you. Yeah, but it's hard to line that up. Yeah, something's weird with it. Ooh. Ariel said, I think pink should have went first. Maybe we needed to do the, just the mountaintop first and then the pink and then the white. Maybe so, but then it still wouldn't have had a gap in the black. Right. I think this, you just put that up a little high. Yeah. What's weird, though, is, like, everything hangs off. Like, it's supposed to fit inside the circle. You know circle. how each time you press, the it shrinks. shrinks a little bit? We should have yeah. made the black circle a little bit bigger, probably. Probably so. And then that would have accounted for the shrinkage. No one likes shrinkage. Nobody likes shrinkage. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to decide what I want to do right yeah. now. I'm going to pre-press my chart on okay. the side. Yeah. Sorry. It's fine, it's Emily. Not it's fault, not your right? fault. Layering designs are always a little tricky. I know, like, it, it's it's weird because, like, I would make it work if the mountaintop lined up with the, it's almost like, Any tips, guys? <laughs> I'm like looking at the design and like looking down at the shirt. And I'm like, ah. Um, I think like she said, the trees are a little crooked. Yeah, I think your white was going to be easier. I think I'm going to follow the tip someone said. I'm going to do the white. You're going to do the, the. I think she meant pink first. Do she said pink. do first. She said do pink first, yeah. And this is what we mean, by, guys, by like, don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. Like, this is all trial. And you're going to mess up. Like, it's just bottom line. So if we have tips for newbies, it's be patient and roll with it. <laughs> This goes here. Mia said, maybe Margie's will work out. Get a ruler and see where exactly the white sits. Yeah. I was thinking that after I pressed it on, I was like, dang it, I should have got a ruler. Yeah. Me and Shyla are not super patient, though. <laughs> we really aren't. We wing everything. GG.12.21 asked, are both black circles the same size? Mm-hmm. Yes. 
burn yourself? Yes, I did burn myself. Purgy. Every time, y'all. Every time. bummer well and mine's a little off too Is like it? it just the black shrinks with each press a little bit so yeah yours is mm -hmm. off. it's just gonna be like to get the tree see yeah it's, off. it's just gonna be off it's okay <laughs> margie's like it's okay it'll just work it. well it'll be okay I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna recut my mountain smaller to fit in the space. Letty one two one asks, is there a limit on how many layers you can add? Yeah. I mean eventually eventually too much is just too much. Yeah. Like I don't know how to put that. Um, um you'll be able to tell when it gets to be too much. Like yeah. Mary's day to day said I definitely would have have to cut with scissors to make it fit. Yeah, that's what I just had to do was cut the cut each individual piece. Well, and mine I just shifted a little to the. Yeah, that's so weird. You know what I'm wondering, Margie? I'm wondering if we needed to rotate the circle in a particular way. Way. Uh huh. Like so, what? However, we had it on the cut mat. We yeah. needed to have it upright that way. Maybe so. Okay. It might not have been a true circle. Yeah, I, it might not be a true circle. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Francis said, turn the pink on the bottom. I thought about doing that, but I don't know. Like, my pink looks like it's gotten overheated. Hey, it's Sandra17 asks, what kind of machine do you guys use? This is a Silhouette Cameo 4. Look how cute this is, guys. I'm so sad that it won't fit. Hey. I wish you could unpress the white. <laughs> unpress the white? Yeah. All right, y'all. I took off the carrier sheet for the last press, and I'm just going to do one more, like, five-second press. And then I'll let it cool, and then I'll see if it needs an additional press. At least Emery knows what order to go in now for Emory hers. Emery is going to do hers, <laughs> and she'll do it right. So here's mine. It's off center, but it's okay. I still love it. Everybody it is really sticks. cute. I mean, it almost looks like it's perfect. I, it was made to go with that. Yeah, it does off. look like it's kind of like a drop shadow mm -hmm. thing. That's cute. I don't know if you want to show it. Now, I'm just thinking what I could do differently. <laughs> I think I'm just going to cut my mountain smaller. Yeah, just like shrink, just shrink it, it just down a little bit. Yeah, I would do overheated. that. I know it does look overheated, the pink, which is weird because. You can tell here what kind of. Um, I don't Finished know why. Electric so maybe the pink needs to be the wow, last. Wow, it that looks seems so pretty on the camera. Look at it shining. Yeah. Ooh, it's so pretty, guys. That's really pretty. Electric is gorgeous. I'm gonna press on my gray. Okay. And then um, cut my mouth a little bit smaller. Why does the pink do that? I don't know. That's weird. You think like that much smaller? Oh. Yeah, that looks like. Yeah. Pink. Make sure you grab her. Is it bad that I want to press everything in black mask that you can't do? I don't know. Think move, that's move it over on the main so I can see, like move it into place so I can see what it would look like smaller. Okay. Like shift it down. Oh, see that doesn't look bad. Mm -mm. Oh, 
hopefully that's that okay. hopefully that I size is okay. Make sure issue. Yeah, it probably will. So yeah. y'all, if you get this SVG, you might want to just make the outside circle, the black circle, a little bit bigger. Um, or just remember which way you cut it. Yeah. Which I thought I remembered because the sticker I felt like was on the top and okay. I had it on the top, but I could be wrong too. <laughs> I don't know. Who, no. <laughs> Who knows? Nobody knows. Nobody anyway. knows. Yeah, the pink looks like it got a little overheated. Hey, it's Sandra17 asked, do you prefer those over the Cricut machines? Oh yeah, we do. So, um, my pink got a little overheated, but it looks like it's like a textured vinyl, it so I kind of really like it. Cool. It makes it look like the mountains are supposed to be that way. Yes. Like, you know how mountains are textured? Yes. So. Yes. Do you want to send my mountain? Yeah. Maybe it'll fit on there, I think. Sharon asks, is this the is Electric Caesar, Caesar brand? Yes. Yes, it is. Electric is Caesar. Mary's day to day asks, is there any way to do this design with the subtract method so you wanna have to layer? Yes, so you yes. can subtract the pieces and do knockout. Margie and I call that knockout yeah. method. You can do that. We just didn't do that this time. I thought it'd be cool to like layer each layer and see the design come to life, which is fine as long as your pieces measure up correctly. Yeah. So our we <laughs> We'll tell you, while Emery was designing this, a fuse blew and the computer, her computer oh shut down yes. in the middle of it. We and we were, were just, a little late coming And on. we were a little frazzled, so anyway. I think that this is, like you guys are willing, you guys can download this SVG and do the knockout method yourselves in, in silhouette. And then you guys can just do it that way if that's the way y'all prefer. Mm -hmm. Which that's kind of the safe way. Oh, yeah. I guess it's the safe way. It's the safe way to do it. And then it makes for not as thick of a shirt. Yeah. Because it, it does feel thick, but that's okay. I hope Andrea is still on for her, the answer to her question, but she commented, I love your videos. I learned so much. On a previous one, you all mentioned that you could reuse the HTV clear sheet on Pattern HTV. Do you just put the clear sheet on top before cutting and do the normal routine for HTV? So you do not put the uh, clear H the clear carrier sheet on top of the vinyl before you cut it. You're still going to cut the printed pattern pattern side up without the carrier sheet. This is just to save you a dollar fifty from having to buy the transfer sheet separately. So don't put this on top of the vinyl to cut it. It won't work. No. So. be nice to be able to do that. It doesn't work. No. Emery, I'll save my mountain for you. Okay. And you can not have to cut your mountain. Sarah said, have you guys seen the TikTok where you can print an SVG sublimation design, transfer it, then add the foil and it transfers straight to the design? Yes, yes. Yeah, we have, we have seen have. that. That's really cool. Yes, it's cool that uh, sublimation transfers to, a, or I mean foil sticks to HTV as well. So mm -hmm. if you have HTV on a shirt and you're putting foil on a shirt, wherever the foil is touching the HTV, it's going to stick to that as well. It's really cool. Foils uh, has a reputation of sticking to everything. Yes, it sticks to everything but holographic. Even your, um, <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> that shirt was such a way. I know, it really was. Uh, the, um, what was I going to, I forgot what I was going to say. Just ignore me, guys. Sharon said, will you explain the knockout method? I have a Cricut Maker and I am considering silhouette purchase. Yeah, so Margie will show you guys how to do that real quick. All right. So here we have our design. Are we, is she on Facebook or was she on Facebook? All right. So we'll have our design selected. So I know you always forget, Margie. You I go do. to the, uh, that shape button with the intercept. Right yeah. here. Yep. And all then right. you're going to hit the subtract all when you have it all highlighted. Okay. So we're going to have it all highlighted like this and you do subtract all. Did it do it? It takes a minute. Yeah. But you should be able to just click off once you feel like it worked and then remove one of the pieces. Yep. There so you, you can see how then it just cuts the black. I think I'm going to do that when I do that. <laughs> Of course you are. Yeah. <laughs> you can see how it just removes all the colored pieces. Yeah. It's easier to see on the colors. 
And it also helps you line everything up correctly. Yeah. I'm not supposed to pick up the color of my foot and have each other next to it. <laughs> so they can equalize. Yeah. So hopefully that helps you. And I'll just, let me go. Are we on screen share still? Yes. So you can see all the pieces separate. So then it almost, you would still want to press your black first, but then you could line everything else up into the black. Does that make sense? Or you could just cut this. This would be really a pretty design in just black. I think this is going to be okay, right? Oh, yeah, that looks great, Shala. I mean, the only that weird part, good. I think, is right here. I think that's okay. Then cut it. I think it cut looks it good. Scissors. Should I cut it with scissors? Yeah, I probably should. Just cut it. <laughs> you got the scissors right there. Yeah. GG12.21 said, can you do sublimation on regular white HTV? No, you cannot. You can do it on glitter, HTV, white. And then I had a customer that came in yesterday, y'all, and he said he successfully sublimated on white strip cloth. Which, no. yeah, I haven't told Shiloh that yet. So we are going to, Shiloh and I are going to test it out and we'll have to yes, do that for y'all. Because it's really white strip cloth. It's really cool. It's the fuzzy, you know, almost felt like vinyl. So... That is so it's exciting. Cool. I know. I thought it was really cool. Sharon said that is so cool. Cuts down the thickness. Yeah. So it's in silhouette. It's really easy to do. In Cricut, I have no idea how to do it. But you can download the silhouette software for free. And um, this this is one of the free ones. The um, right here. This is part of the free silhouette software. But you have to have um, designer edition or above to open SVGs and silhouette. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> and then you could save it. If you have business edition, then you could save it as an SVG and open it in Cricut. That's what a lot of people do that I've seen in different forums. They say they just use the silhouette software because it's so much easier than the Cricut software. I'm just doing surgery. Y'all ignore me. Y'all, look at Shala. She just like... <laughs> She's getting stuck in her hair. May said, hi, I'm new to crafting and recently purchased the grab bag. I think I know how to, to differentiate between HTV and <laughs> adhesive vinyl, but I saw a sheet of clear vinyl. Is it safe to assume that it's the adhesive HTV for foils? So, um, yeah, clear vinyl, probably so. Probably so. If it does not have a paper backing, then yes, it's probably the one for foils. It's the easy weed adhesive. If it has a paper backing, then it's a clear adhesive vinyl. Yeah, maybe we could just show her what yeah, it looks like. Yeah, we can show you what the Caesar easy weed adhesive looks like. So if y'all got this in your grab bag, this is a sheet of Easy Weed adhesive. You can kind of see through it. This is what you use for the foils. If you got our Eight Days of Christmas, we had that really cute Christmas tree craft that was included. That looks good, Shala. I know. I just got one little piece here. I got to get rid of. So, um, but the foils are a two-step process. You cut and press on this, and then you layer the foils on top. They are so fun. You can layer the foils on top of screen prints if you buy, um, like, screen prints. Perfect. I did surgery. It, it looks good. <laughs> Car okay, let's press it on. Sorry. <laughs> Carol Adriana said, when will you guys have the StarCraft light green back in stock? Hopefully by tomorrow. Honestly, we're hoping our big StarCraft shipment comes today or tomorrow, and then we'll have to just get all the <laughs> orders that we have in process taken care of, and then we'll put everything back in stock. Yes, so exactly. If it's not tomorrow, it'll be Monday. So you might want to do your pink last, y'all, because look, now your tungsten's a little like my pink that I, I did. I wondered if it's because I had carrier sheet over it. Maybe I should just press it again. I'll press quick. it again for a second. But it fits! It's cute! <laughs> it's cute. I love it on the white. Gilded. Maya said, it has the paper backing. Thank you for your response. Yeah, so then that's probably um, clear, clear adhesive. adhesive that you can use. Um, Oh my gosh, someone in our group, I think it was Cassie, she shared that she had done, um, like, her walls were painted matte, and they cut 
in clear glossy adhesive and put it on the walls and it looked like the walls were watermarked. Cool. I'm That's like cool. it was awesome. I'm like I'll that's amazing. It's in our group if you guys I think it's in our group or maybe Kathy you don't have shared. To show me after the end. It's really cool. Look at all all right. So here's our two different shirts. <laughs> they turned out good despite the little imperfections. This is how you know something is homemade. It's a little more whimsical. I love it. No, Emery, you want to show them the white opal up front? Oh, Did yeah. you show Margie's the difference between opal and pearl? Uh, pearl. So yours is opal. Hers Mine's is opal. opal. Mine's pearl. Oh, I don't know how to do both. It's okay. Look at my surgery. <laughs> Why <laughs> is a Caesar electric opal? Opal. opal. <laughs> opal. <laughs> so oh, yes. cute. It has like it color has, variations uh -huh. in it. It's really gorgeous, the white opal. Yeah. Okay, now what's yours, Mom? Mine's pearl, mm -hmm. which I'll do the electric pearl if I'm just doing a plain white shirt, but want it to have a little more mm -hmm. pop to it, then the pearl is a fun way to add a little pop to it. So cute. It looks good. Good job. All of the electric colors have a very nice um, sheen. They have a metallic sheen to them. Yes. So and cute. they are a little bit thicker than regular Easy Weave. Yeah, so just bump up your um your press your force a little bit mm -hmm. when you're cutting it. I think that's gonna press out more because mine kind of Yours went did. away. Yeah. And now that it's cooled, yeah. I'll press it again. I have one more question, and then we can, uh, you know, uh, Sarah said, "What's the difference in soft flex and Easy Weave?" So, great question, Margie, and I love this question. I feel like we're getting to the point where we, we answer this every single time. I know, we And do. I always say that. We and love that's this okay. question. <laughs> so, the difference between Caesar Easy Weed and Soft Flex is that Soft Flex is actually more comparable to Caesar Easy Weed Stretch. So, mm -hmm. it offers stretchy um, components. So, it's really great for those spandex leggings, headbands, all that kind of stuff. It's a little thinner. It so, it thinner. feels more like screen printed on your shirt. Yes. And it is all matte finish. So, every single color in Soft Flex is matte finish. That's what I have on my shirt here. My yes. obstinate head stronger. Um, another great um, pointer about Soft Flex over Easy Weed is that it presses at 285 degrees. So, it is great for iron and Cricut Easy Press users because mm -hmm. you don't need to have a high temp to get that that good bond that you need. Um, downfalls is that it's not really great for multiple layers like things like this. It doesn't do that well because it can overheat really easily. Yeah. Um, and Caesar, I feel like um, I feel like I like the colors better in Softflex. Yeah, they've really expanded yeah. the Softflex line and they've modernized the yes. colors. It's kind of like the Avery colors. Mm -hmm. There's some really cool new colors in Softflex. It's so weird y'all switch right now. Yeah, know. it is. Are it we feels confusing y'all? Yeah. It'll be really we, funny if the I'm like Margie. screenshot is <laughs> uh, switched around. Uh, switched around. It'll look really yes. weird. Yes. Um, right. But hopefully that clears it up. It's really just a preference. Caesar's mm -hmm. been around for years and years. Everybody knows the Caesar name. They just know that that's something that they can depend on. Yeah. Um, but if you guys haven't tried Starcraft Soft Flex, we highly suggest you do. There's, I think you're going to love it. There's some in Overstock, so grab a couple oh, sheets from Overstock nice. before it comes out. So once again, you guys, y'all can get Caesar Easy Weed Electric for free with $35 yeah. purchases up to three per transaction. The Margie Shallow Mystery Box might be out of stock, but it might not be so go grab that it ships for free and it qualifies you for two free sheets of electric and make sure you're choosing the electric colors that you want from the drop down otherwise you'll get yep. the default one gold lens which is awesome it is but you want to make sure you get the colors mm -hmm. that you want yeah um 25 off overstock we do not know how long that is going to be here so be sure to go shop that while you're on the website yes. and yeah guys just have a great rest I of know. your week i Stay safe. probably won't be on tomorrow Probably not. Yeah. Fridays are usually kind of crazy. Yes. So. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. We'll just expect not to be on tomorrow. Yeah. So. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.